In a St. Clair Times article Thursday, September 1st, our superintendent, Jenny Seals, admits that we have a problem with textbooks. She said, we are in the process of distributing textbooks and purchasing new ones to meet the growing needs of our 19 schools. It's strange to me that someone outside the school system had to fill her in on that problem. She also states, with limited funding provided by the state for technology and textbooks, for the last three years, the general fund has had to make up the difference. She goes on to talk about how bad everything is, how much it costs to provide textbooks, and how little they get from the state, and how bad our economy is at this time. Ms. Seals said that the state and national core standards and data, not textbooks, drive the St. Clair County school system's 21st century instruction. She also said nothing can take the place of the delivery of standards by an effective teacher. All summer long, the St. Clair County Board of Education was reducing bus routes, cutting the labor force in the lunch rooms and in the maintenance department, and most critical, cutting teachers. And according to Mrs. Seals, quote, nothing can take the place of the delivery of standards by an effective teacher. So why did we cut so many teachers? What's next, a hot tub for the central office? While attending board meetings and watching decisions being made over the summer, it seemed as if the funds were unlimited. We were able to give $21,000 each to two directors at the central office, totaling $42,000. Five years ago, our CSFO made $51,000. Today, our CSFO makes $95,230 plus four other support personnel helping her. The financial department consisting of our CSFO and her staff combined cost us almost a quarter of a million dollars a year. Maybe our superintendent would like to explain to the taxpayers, the parents, the children, and the teachers. Where did that money come from? To sum it all up, Ms. Seals says we don't have enough money for textbooks and technology. She also released teachers and aides to save money. So exactly what does she plan on using to drive us into the 21st century? Obviously, money management is not our superintendent's forte. She's only driving us deeper in debt. Maybe she needs to go back to teaching PE. Based on the flood of information that we have received, please stand by. We will continue to expose the many serious problems in our school system. And once again, my name is Clay Cato, and on behalf of the Coalition for School Improvement, we are here to say we have some serious problems and we need serious people to solve.